Friday. It's just before nine o'clock, and we're now at Tupper Rock. Let's go up to Tupper Rock. So, are you excited to do this again? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we've done this before, but we're going again. Not this trip, yeah, before this trip, done it, another trip. It's really cold outside, so I'm not sure how cold it's going to be up there. But, it'll be a different experience because we had it quite warm last time, didn't we? So we had sleeveless t-shirts, I think. Oh, I had sleeveless t-shirts. Oh, the t-shirt, yeah. So it's been a very different experience. So we're at the top of the rock. It's a very different climate to last time we were here in the middle of June. It's bloody freezing. Yeah, it's actually bitterly cold. And that's without wind, so I don't know what it'd be like with the wind that we had yesterday. That'd be so cold. But we're at the top. It must be about half an hour called ten now, isn't it? And yeah, last time we were up here we had t-shirts on, so it's very different. But we've got all the views behind us. Statue of Liberty in the distance. And then the other direction. We have Central Park. Yeah, it's cool, and we're coming back up later because we've got a Sun and Stars ticket, so we're going to come up when it's dark. So, yeah, I mean, we've got the web, really cool, so I'm excited. Oh, it's just so cool. It's December again, I can't bear. Plaza. Went and saw it, we wanted to go here and now we've stopped at Pizza Rolli, Rollio. Pizza Rollio. And outside there is a home loan to photo opportunity. It's nice, it's good. Yeah, we thought we'd have a little nice. bit of lunch in here. What time is it? So it's got like a whole food court, hasn't it? Half past five. Half past twelve. Half past twelve. Oh, is it five hours? Yeah. Okay, so half past twelve. We thought we'd have a little look at the food court and everything. Yeah, it seems really nice. There's loads of different food halls. Yeah. And all shops and stuff. First bite verdict. And then you get this little pot of... What we, I think it's Cress and Rocket, but they call it something different. Definitely not. And then you roll it up inside the pizza, which is cool. Yeah. Different to last night's pizza? Yeah. lunch at the plaza pizza place and then we got some donuts for our pudding pudding well i don't know donuts to snack on to there in luke's bag and then we're now walking up this towards the met and is it the guggenheim yeah we're walking up towards there to have a little look and take a picture on the steps of the met gossip girl styling Yeah, but it's got cold. It's definitely colder since we were in, since we went in the plaza. So much chillier. It was so cool. But I'm wrapped up warm, but I'm still cold. I was there and I sat on the steps. We didn't actually 
actually go in the museum. We went to the gift shop because we're not that fussed about seeing the actual museum, but we just wanted to see like the books and stuff in the bookshop. But now we're gonna wind our weary way all the way back down to like the plaza sort of area. And we need to find Bloomingdale's. So we're gonna go head to Bloomingdale's, see the Christmas windows, see if we've got any Christmas decorations. Cold. No, I keep saying it, but it is very cold. I need to express how cold it is. It's freezing. Look at you all trussed up in your little, <laughs> your little coat. <laughs> Saks Fifth. No, Bloomingdale's was very underwhelming, wasn't it? Yeah. So they're, they're Holly, until... Yeah, well they're inside. Like, Bloomingdale's outside was underwhelming and then inside was underwhelming. And then we've been to Saks Fifth Avenue, which is amazing outside. All the lights and the windows are like snow white themed and they're amazing. Inside, the holiday department is rubbish. You're better off going to Harrods or Selfridges in London to get a better Christmassy department inside for all decorations and stuff. So that was a shame, but it was good to see the lights outside. Look, it's been to the NBA store, and what did you buy? You made me. I didn't make you do anything. Buy the Nick's Christmas jumper. Yeah, so Luke's got a Nick's Christmas jumper. And we're now back at Top of the Rock to go up to the nighttime version of what we did this morning. But there's some kind of drama in the entrance, and some man, um, from what I gather, he's tried to just run in and he's just shouting and they're trying to like, restrain him. So we're not going up just yet. We're just waiting for a minute until they say we can go. So that's a bit of drama, but my feet are like dead. I can't feel my toes. I can feel my toes, they're in a lot of pain, but I think my toes might fall off. So how are you feeling? I'm knackered. These shoes are taking a beating. Been pummeling the miles. These on. And we just tried to get Starbucks, but there was nowhere to sit at all. So we gave up on the Starbucks idea. We're gonna get one in a bit when we can walk back to the hotel. But I'm excited to see the nighttime view, are you? Yeah, definitely. Especially with all the Christmas lights, that's what I've yeah. got about. Yeah. So, yeah, just absolutely pooped. And yeah, we haven't really bought much. I bought, went for a while, bought two things. I haven't bought too much. I'm just pooped. Fifth Avenue last time was the day of walking, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I'm pooped. But, yeah, what time is it? It's like, if it's quarter past ten, it's quarter past five here. So, yeah, I look like a trussed up lap, but it's cosy. Cosy AF. We just got to the top and there's actually no one up here. Is anyone around here? There's literally only like a handful of people. Barely anyone here. But it's bloody freezing. Look at their people. We've arrived back at the hotel with very sore feet and very cold, but we're back at the hotel and yeah, the top of the rock was just so cold, it's just unreal. So we finished off taking all our pictures and then we started walking back. We got a cup of tea on the way because we needed to warm our cockles and it was desperate for a cup of tea. and. Yeah, we made our way back to the hotel. My feet hurt so badly. Oh, Luke's got his Christmas jumper on. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, this is my little Sephora bag. So I just bought a mascara and an eyeliner. Not 
not very exciting because the mascara is my beloved Lancome Oscillation Mascara, which if you've never tried it, tried it is the best mascara in the world, if you ask me. I first knew about this when I used to work at Debenhams when I was like 17, and they don't sell it in the UK anymore, as far as I'm aware. So when I come to America, I would buy it because the only place can get it. And while I was in there, I noticed that they had the Kat Von D tattoo liner, and I know this sells in the UK now, but I wanted to give it a try, and it was there in front of my face, so I bought it. I also swatched a whole load of lipsticks, but didn't buy anything in the end because I couldn't decide, and I thought well, there's no point in buying anything if I'm not really loving it. I'm just in bed at the moment, just getting warm. We're eating at the hotel tonight for dinner, which is nice, and then afterwards we'll be gonna got like little free tokens to get a free drink a little token get a free drink at the hotel bar on the second floor and then we don't know how busy it's going to be because it's friday night but we're going to try and see if we could get a drink on the rooftop bar we don't know how it's going to go because we don't know how busy it's going to be but we shall see and in final news before i show you christmas jumper of luke i got some freaking cheetos so excited on the off chance we were just leaving the rockefeller center and i said oh can we just try this Dwayne reed just to see if we've got any cheetos just by chance and they had one pack left so i nabbed them as soon as i saw them and i'm so excited to eat these cheetos i can't even explain cheetos are life introducing luke's christmas jumper oh christ <laughs> You're pleased with it? Yeah. It was supposed to be $75, wasn't it? And it was 30% off. So that's good. So it's $53 in the end. $53, but that's including tax. So obviously yeah. there would have been tax as well. Yeah. And if you bought it in the UK, it would have been 50 quid. And they were sold out when we tried to get them one. But yeah, you're really interesting to film just on your phone. Sorry. I need you to do my thing before we get ready. Okay. I'll do it in a sec. But yeah, that's Luke's Christmas jumper. And we've got Get Santa on Netflix on the TV. Did we buy anything else? No. No. Well, we bought loads of stuff, but nothing mm. of interest. No. Yeah, so we're just gonna watch this for a little bit longer and then get ready. It's, oh, it's 22, we just need to get changed for dinner. We're just heading down for dinner now. And we're going to the restaurant at the hotel, which is called Legacy, it's a seafood brasserie. So I've got little velvet studded top on, black jeans, and little sh stiletto yeah, shoes. And it's got a little white shirt on. Oh, I'm not sure. And it's got oh. a bit of a groove. And yeah, I haven't got a coat on because we're not leaving the hotel. And then we've got a little free tickets. Have you got them tokens? Yeah, I've got the tokens to get free. Oh, you can take pictures then. And I'm excited to see what the restaurant's like and the bar. Hotel room now. It is what's the time? Like don't know. Five to midnight. Five to eleven, isn't it? Five to eleven. Five to 11. It's not late at all. It feels late. Luke's been in the bathroom. Whoa. We have, and I fell asleep while he was in there. Um. Yeah, we're back in the hotel room. We had dinner at Legacy, <coughs> the restaurants. No, the hotel's restaurant, and it was quite expensive, wasn't it? It's like a fancy restaurant, and it was so busy now. I didn't expect it to be that busy. It's the type of busy I've not actually seen in England. No, but we don't go to restaurants like that, really, do we? No, but it was also very, very packed in. Like, it's what I'd imagine like a busy, bustling restaurant in London to be, like a place where like people that work in London go to after dinner, after yeah. dinner, after work for dinner and drinks. So it's very, very busy, and. 
I actually felt really weird in there. I was sitting sort of in a corner looking out onto the whole restaurant and it was so noisy in there, it was unreal. And I felt really like claustrophobic, like it was just kind of overwhelming. So Luke switched it to me, bless him, so that I could sit just facing him. So that was better, but that was really nice in there. But it was really sickly, wasn't it? The food, so nice. We had mac and cheese to start, and I probably shouldn't have had as much mac and cheese as I did, but I did. And then I couldn't eat my whole dinner. I had fish and chips, but the batter was kind of like a sweet batter. I would show you Luke, by the way, but he's taking his top off to go to bed, so he probably won't want to be shown on camera. I should just have to hear his voice if he answers any questions. Hello. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the batter was kind of sweet, wasn't it? It was weird. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe it. Yeah. And then the cocktails weren't like cocktails I'd seen before. So I just ordered one called a Foxy Moxie and it was vodka. No, it was. It was vodka. Grapefruit vodka. Yeah, it, it was flavoured vodka. And then um, it was. Citrus. Yuzu citrus or something. Yeah. And then grapefruit, cranberry, cranberry, Pom no pomegranate, pomegranate, cranberry. pomegranate. Right. Yeah, it's really bitter. It's really bizarre. And then because we'd said when we booked our reservation, we were hotel guests. They obviously made a note, and the guy came over and he said, um, "Because you're guests at the hotel, um, I'm going to give you dessert on me." So I don't think it was on him. I think it was on the restaurant, on the hotel or the restaurant, or whatever. But either yeah. way, that's really, really nice for them. So we had chocolate caramel cake and it was so good it had a massive slab of chocolate caramel cake and then thick cream with it like whipped cream and some mint chocolate chip ice cream so i ate all the mint chocolate chip ice cream because luke doesn't like it and then luke ate half the cake and i ate some of the cake so that was really nice and then we popped to the bar on the second floor of the hotel just called Bar Moxie so we had some free welcome drink tokens so we wanted to use those and they didn't actually take them away from us so we still want them so we could go and use them again if we wanted to but went and did that got some free drinks there and then we were going out to Times Square but we come back to the room and while Luke was in the loo I've fallen asleep and then Luke's really tired as well because we're getting up so early and not going to bed till like midnight and do it constantly walking all day and not having like proper meals necessarily like the other day we didn't have breakfast or really anything to eat until dinner time really because of that I'm just shattered like unbelievably shattered so it's only like what was it like 11 o'clock yeah but we're gonna get ready for bed and yeah, we were going to go to Times Square, but we're going to do that tomorrow night instead now. And we've planned up tomorrow, so we've got our plan <laughs> exactly ready for tomorrow. It's going to be another busy day, and... No, I'm not going to jinx it. I'll, I'll see what happens in the morning. Are you talking about weather? No, 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 no. Are you talking about the weather? Yeah. Should I do an update? No. No, I, this isn't jinxing it, because this isn't me saying it. No, we're this not We're update. not checking it. It's we're not checking I'm the weather. Checking it. Don't say anything then. Don't say anything. Well, the temperature's dropped as well, to be fair. <coughs> yeah, so I'm not checking the weather. Um, but yeah, it is Friday night at like 11 o'clock and I'm going to bed because I'm so tired. As you can probably tell my voice and my face. So I'll see you in the morning.